So what is up everybody, it is Rodak with Rodak Survival and I got something a little bit different for you guys today. So you guys know that we are on that grind. That is what the Noob to Pro series is all about. And if you follow the pro scene at all, you know the guys don't have very long with the track before they gotta go qualify. So I decided to set myself a challenge today. And that challenge is gonna be in Supercross. So if you guys look at my game really fast, you see that I only have round 5, round 7, and round 17 of this past year's ARL Supercross tracks. So what I have done to challenge myself is I have put every other round inside of a random wheel spin. Whatever track it lands on, that is the track that we are going to buy. I'm going to do 5 practice laps and then do a 15 minute plus 1 moto to see what fastest lap we can get. So let's go ahead and spin that wheel and see what track we're getting today. Looking like we are going to get round eight, and that is the one and only Daytona. So there you can see me, I'm purchasing it right there. Here we are, Daytona. Probably probably one of the harder Supercross tracks. Supercross motocross mix, it's super rough. A crazy long whoop section, but if any place to learn, I guess this is it, because it's got a little bit of a mix of everything. So we're at the world center of racing. Let's get this underway. Here is literally my first time ever on this track. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to feel it out for a few laps and just kind of see how big the jumps are. We go for a triple and immediately we're already down on the ground. This is gonna be a great video. So yeah, the one place that I struggle at in this game when it comes to Supercross, other than everywhere, the place where I struggle the most is absolutely in the whoop section. Here, I just absolutely sky the wall jump, didn't know that was there. I'm learning this track. I am literally figuring it out. I don't know the lines. I am just trying to figure it out. And yeah, I go and change the Kawasaki because I was not feeling the Suzuki. So we're on the Kawi. We're doing a lap or two to just kind of feel the track out, at least get down baselines that we want to run whenever we do this race. So here you go. Here's my settings. I have it 15 minutes plus one lap. I have the E-Road at 0.15. And coming into this, I have a goal of trying to beat a lap time, get lower than a 140. So let's go ahead, see if I can make it happen. Not off to a bad start here. We're gonna try to triple and then yeah, we, we're, we're, we're surviving. We are surviving. Wanted to get the triple triple, but we're, we're gonna have to deal with that and then we're already down on the ground. So here's my first official lap on the track. Let's see how this goes. I immediately come up short on the finish line. That is unfortunate. But look at that. We're gonna, look at us wheeling through those whoops. Who is that guy? Is that guy James Stewart? Is that a 259 on that Kawasaki? And we're just making mistakes everywhere and it's not working out for me. We're now we're on my official, first official time lap and we're gonna go down. And we're gonna go down again. Oh, actually we didn't crash, but we just made a huge mistake. So official fastest lap of the race so far is a 157 as I completely OJ the finish line. And look what I did. I thought that was the wall jump. I'm an idiot. Completely missed the triple and yeah, that's just uh, that's about how I was riding at this point But we started to catch a little bit of a flow. It's sketchy. Don't get me wrong. It is sketchy look like, like I don't know how I saved it, but I did it is sketchy, but we're catching a tiny bit of a flow We're actually gonna get this rhythm section here double triple triple Double and then another double I'm assuming nope. I came up short a little bit on it. Oh, well, we're still not on the ground That's a win So coming to the finish line, I'm super pissed off at myself for missing that triple because that wouldn't have been a bad lap by my standards. But I wasted four or five seconds by completely missing the triple and then we're just gonna endo in the whoops. 
On the next lap, we're gonna just make mistakes again. We're gonna try to go for this triple line. I'm just going way too fast. Fly into the face, fly into the face, we're dead. And so we're back on another lap, over the bars again in the whoop section. I am just not feeling it. I'm trying some different lines out. I'm like, if I crashed already, might as well try different lines because we're not gonna get that fast lap that we're looking for. And trust me guys, before you go ahead and say it in the comments or anything, I know that consistency is really the key to this game, but you also have to qualify just to get into the races. So I feel like I need to practice both of them. I hardly ever practice trying to run hot laps. So here's what we're gonna do. And um, yeah, I finally start feeling the flow a little bit this lap and I'll let you guys check that out. Actually, I lied, I crashed. <laughs> yeah, it really got you guys there. You guys thought I was gonna run a lap without crashing. Are you crazy? Look, I'm gonna go down again. Actually, I'm not. I'm that good at the game, and then I lied again. I completely looped out. So here we go, jumping over the finish line. We gotta get one lap that's good, right? So finally, we are gonna go a lap without crashing. I'm pretty bummed because I made some mistakes. Like I had to double the whole back section. And um, yeah, that lap could have definitely been faster. A 147, my goal was to get to a 140. Can we do it? Can we run two laps in a row as we start to feel the flow? Nope, we cannot hit a crazy hook in that rut and it just completely shot me off to the side. But I wanted to jump in here to say like, man, I'm not afraid to show you guys that like I suck at this game. I especially suck at Supercross. I have to put in a lot more work if I wanna be good at that. But that's what we are here for. That's what the whole series is about from noob to pro. I want to be able to qualify for these races one day. So you guys are gonna see the good, the bad and the ugly. I'm not afraid to show it. I Y'all can say whatever you want in the comment section that you know you need to do this or do that. I'll gladly take tips. I am not above taking any sort of criticism as long as it's helping me or it's not just um, it's presented ignorantly, then yeah, I'll, I'm here to take criticism. I'm here to learn. I'm here to try to do better. And yeah, that's what I wanna show you guys that like, hey, we're on this grind together. You're gonna watch me through the ups and the downs, and I promise you, I guarantee that we will qualify for one of these races one day. 100%, that is going to happen.
So yeah, this is my last chance at a good lap here and I'm just gonna throw it away by just making mistakes everywhere. And I also thought the triple at the beginning of the lap, if you didn't catch that, was the wall jump again and I rolled everything. And then I'm gonna go down and unfortunately that's gonna be how it ends. This is the last lap. Our best lap that we're gonna run is that 147.62. And like I said, you guys can say what you want. I know that consistency and speed have to go hand in hand, but like I said, you have to qualify for the races, so I need to practice the speed just as much as the consistency. So if you like the video, go ahead, drop a like and subscribe if you can. But like I said, guys, I'm here to show you guys all the ups and the downs. And yeah, we're on this ride together. You guys, like I said, will 100% see me qualify for one of these races one day. You can bet that. I am absolutely going to make it happen and I'm going to keep grinding until it does happen. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.